Hello and welcome to another beautiful edition of Iron Port. Iron Port is proudly brought to you by the Ghana Revenue Authority, Goyal Company Limited, Serene Insurance, Ghana Link, and Meridian Port Services, MPS. This program is powered by the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, and our media partner is the Business and Financial Times. Viewers, the Ghana Revenue Authority has introduced the EVAT system, which is expected to increase revenue collection as well as check tax compliance. As a result, we interact with officials from the GRA who are part of the technical team in charge of the EVAT. They'll tell us more about what this EVAT is all about in the following piece. Take a listen. The Ghana Revenue Authority on October 1, 2022, deployed the Certified Electronic Invoicing System, commonly known as EVAT, in accordance with the amended Value Added Tax Act 870. The EVAT certifies every invoice issued by taxpayers in near real time for revenue assurance purposes. Speaking to the public on the Iron Port Live program, members of the EVAT technical team of the Ghana Revenue Authority emphasize that the EVAT is not a new tax. You could see the invoice here. Yes. This is the invoice that when you go to most shops, when you transact a business with them, they are supposed to issue this invoice to you. Mm. But what we are doing is that we are transforming the manual invoicing into an electronic one. Mm. So um, in line with this, the VAT Act has been amended. It is, wow. not, it is not a new tax. The rate of tax is still the same. Mm. We have the standard rates. We have the uh, flat rate scheme. So the standard rates, the, tax, the rate of tax for VAT is 12.5%, mm. which we all know. Mm. And then NHL is 2.5%. Get Fund is also 25 And mm. COVID-19 levy is 1%. Mm. So that is for the standard rates. Mm. And then for the uh, flat rate scheme, it is 3%. And mm. then COVID-19 levy 1%, make, making it 4%. Right. Nothing has changed. It is just the process of issue issuing the invoice mm. we are using the electronic means to issue the invoice so that we can authenticate mm. and validate the invoices in real time or near real time kenya has done it mm. tanzania i think rwanda has done it quite recently i think uganda was also about doing the same thing right these are systems that have proven that it's more efficient for revenue mobilization mm. now we have a lot of issues with the current system mm -hmm. both people who have got their own system and those that are issuing manual. Mm. Those that have got their own system, like the big shops that you talk about, yeah. GRA Commissioner General has given them authorization to print their own invoices. invoices yeah. So that's why you don't see them writing the manual one. Right. Because we look at the volume of uh, transactions that you go to mm. the malls and then there are a lot of people who can be writing manual. Yeah, because so, I, re I, I know of one company, Graphic Com uh, Communications Group, for instance, um, mm -hmm. we do business with them when we go for publications and yeah. all that to publish, you know, adverts and all that. Then they tell us they have their, they, they, they issue their own, you know, invoices. Yes. Because, yes. And, and they show us the letter. Yes. You know, so that due process can be followed. Yes. So, for them yes. so those people have yeah. been given authorization by Commissioner General mm. that they can do this on my behalf. Mm. And the others are those who are writing manual. Right. And the challenge we have with these two, let's say those who are printing their own invoice, possibility that they are suppressing sales. Mm. If they make, let's say, 100,000 transactions a month, they can come and tell us that we did only 200. Absolutely. Yeah. We have no way to get this thing. Yeah. And there's a software like Zipa that you can use to suppress sales. Right. You get me? Then those who are supposed to use the manual. Sometimes mm. when you go, some of the hotels, do you want bath in West or not? Mm. You know, sometimes the charges are inclusive. Right. So it means that government money is going somewhere. Yes. With this system, what it means is that any invoice that comes out of your system, mm. Commission General have seen it. Right. And you are going to account for it. Mm. So there's a new features that you see on this invoice that we are bringing out. Mm. So you can see that this will give us more revenue assurance. The GRA in its commencement phase of the program has begun with some 50 taxpayers. And by 2024, the authority will onboard or register taxpayers onto the EVAT system. So you could see that the Melcom shops all of them are on board. Mm. And they, they have about 74 outlets, outlets across the country. Across the country. Mm. We, we started with Palace Mall yeah. and the rest. So the China these, Mall. Uh, the China Mall. Mm. All of them are going to give us good information. Then we will be able to monitor the system and then know the challenges that might come up for mm. us to address it. That is why we started with them. So going forward, we are going to start. So the Commissioner General will give us the next batch of people for us to uh, onboard onto the system. Mm. Those that were onboard, what we'll do is that the first thing is that mm. we engage you. What we'll do, we'll do for them is that we call them for a breakfast meeting. Right. 
all their IT guys. Breakfast meeting. Yes, we have yes. to invite yes. me. Yes, we do, we do, do. You, you do drink tea. Oh, yes, we and do. there's yes. biscuits. Yes, we normally do it sometimes at Lisa. There's biscuits. Yeah, everything okay. is there. <laughs> <laughs> So we give them, we, we go through this process like breakfast meeting with the commissioner uh, DTRD there mm. and all the D deputy commissioners there. Mm. We introduce the system to them. Right. We tell them what is required from them. Mm. And then we also give, uh, introduce what we call the RM, relationship managers, okay. for each of these companies. So that if you have any difficulty during the onboarding process, this is the person that they can contact okay. and then bring all your issues to them. All so right. that's what we do. Once we do that one, then we start engaging our tech team. Mm. We we'll engage your tech team mm. if it's integration. Mm. Then they will start sharing APIs and other things. So we mm. tell them how yeah. it works. Mm. And some of the some of the, 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 the their vendors they know they've done it in other countries. Right. So when you mention they are aware mm. and they know how it works. So onboarding process we take time. Yeah. And then we, we we onboard them. Now the general public those that we are not yet onboarding, we make sure that we are just giving a general. Uh, uh, sensitization mm. that soon we are going to start one soon telling them that this is what we are bringing mm. and if you call upon you that you are part of the next group these are the processes right and this is what is expected from you the GRA officials however cautioned persons and business entities who may want to circumvent the system to evade tax so this system that we are bringing apart from you if you, you can't dodge yeah. because if you dodge you'll be fine out okay. if you see that we are issuing invoicing without authorization from commissioner general mm. or your invoice is coming out as not it's not it's fake mm. we have a way of checking this heartbeat tells us yeah. at the head office or wherever mm. we be, tell who is on and who is not on okay and you can see that with this slide you can see that about 26 is on green green means that they are active and issuing invoice mm. 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 so mm. example let's say we see companies that uh, shop that we know that they are weekend is busy yes. then they are red or they are they are let's say gold it means it's gold means that for the last two hours they've not sold anything yeah, sure. which is which impossible. is wrong yeah sure so here when we sit down at our offices we can go and do a soup mm. or a check mm. we can ask people to go go to this shop they are this thing is off yes why let's go and find out yeah so we have this monitoring tools that we use they also touched on the invigilation exercise which the gra has embarked on to check compliance we station officers at the entrance of their shops we don't mm. we don't take a big space right yes so, so just space. something <laughs> yes grumbling, so, but you are, you're, you're supposed sure. to do it, so, so when the, when the customer comes out of the shop mm. all the officers will do is we just say kind uh, they ask in a polite way mm. please can i have your receipts yeah so they take the receipts and then they, they would um, record the yeah. sales mm. the amounts on the receipts right and then the receipts number and mm. then they are good to go so at the end of the month they will, at the end of the week they will tally everything and then compare. Okay. So at the end of the month, we have our records there. We are waiting for the taxpayer to also mm. come and give us uh, his returns. Mm. So when he files his returns to mm. us, mm. then we will compare with the data that we have directly observed. Right. We normally do that one just to find out whether the taxpayers are compliance. Right. And that's what we did. Mm. And okay. we know it became a lot of issues <laughs> and, and those things. <laughs> and um, okay. a lot of people were talking about this issue yeah. but we can assure you that what we did we did about 179 i think one, 179 yeah, yeah. shops yeah. or companies were identified yeah. for the invigilation exercise so okay. as patrick said invigilation is part of our compliance tools mm. so at times we monitor we use invigilation to monitor if the taxpayer is suppressing sales. Mm. And we know that if the taxpayer suppresses sales, it means that we wouldn't get the right tax that we are supposed to collect. Mm. At times, to the, uh, the taxpayers, they don't issue the invoices. Yeah. You go to a shop, just as he mentioned earlier on, you go to a restaurant to eat, and then they will look at you if you, if you want a VAT invoice or ask sure. before they will give it to you. These are things that, so invigilation is something that we use, it's a technique that we use to monitor. Mm. So we send our officers there mm. to monitor whatever the, tax the Ghana Revenue Authority says these initiatives being undertaken will not only improve revenue collection on their part, but also improve business processes. So the system would help the consumers to be able to uh, keep their records so that when it's time for them to file their returns, it's, it will not be cumbersome. Mm. Uh, it will not be so difficult yeah. for them. And again, I can also talk about the compliance level. Mm. It will reduce their compliance cost. Just like Patrick also said, uh, when it comes to refund, 
sometimes a taxpayer might pay taxes in excess yeah. and then he, will, he would want a refund. Mm. But because the process is too cumbersome, mm. the person might not be able to uh, obtain the refund early. Yeah. So they end up saying that as for GIO, when you pay your taxes, they will not give you a refund should there be. But this system is going to keep the data very well for us and mm. it's going to help us. As it is right now, sometimes the taxpayers will come and file nail return. Yeah. No, Neil, 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 they haven't sold anything. Have sold anything. anything. Yeah. And we have no data to to either say it's correct or wrong. Mm. With this system, you can't. Because mm. Commissioner General is seeing the returns. Mm. So you can't come and tell Commissioner General I did a new return for the yeah. whole month. No, yeah. we know we have the data. Mm. As it is right, if they tell us, unless we go and do audit and we get data from other sources, mm. that means that within that month, this company did some job. Yeah. But he's saying no. Yeah. That's the only way we can. But with this system, you can't you can come and file now. All right, now that we've heard from the officials from GRA on the EVAT system, let us also hear from you on your comments and questions pertaining to the topic we have just discussed after we go on break and we'll be back for more news. My name is Stan Park. I think the mystery shopping is the best way to go because there are a lot of private investigators in the system. The GRA must make good use of them. Putting out the personnel from the GRA can endanger their lives, so I advise the GRA to rely on the PIs for mystery shopping. I want to find out what happens to online sales. For example, sales on Instagram, Facebook and WhatsApp. How does the system capture those entities? The GRA official said the authority will intervene with a solution to capture e-commerce traders soon using the financial technology companies, also known as fintechs. In the meantime, the e-levy was introduced for the purpose of collecting tax from such entities who transact via mobile money. Hi, I have noticed that for some shops, if you want to request a VAT receipt, they tell you you have to pay for one before they give it to you. How do I check if the VAT has been paid to the GRA? Well, the GRA official says VAT is mandatory for the customer to pay, but always insist on the receipt. Every now and again, Goyle makes good things happen. This time, Goyle has introduced Super XP Run 95, a higher grade fuel loaded with additives and yet sold at the same price as normal fuel. Goyle Super XP Run 95 enhances engine performance like never before. It maintains the engine by keeping it clean from carbon deposits. Goyle Super XP Run 95 is designed to burn slowly and thus improves fuel economy, making you save money after several kilometers. Goal Super XP Run 95 gives you a smooth driving experience that is less vibrations. Fill up with Goal Super XP Run 95. Now there's no need to pay more for any higher grade fuel. Goil has that sorted. Goil, good energy. Because you see, without our taxes, we wouldn't have good roads, good schools, better hospitals, street lights, and other very important social amenities. When we pay our taxes, we give our children free and quality education. Tell God, my money too small, why should I pay my tax? Look, small. Salifu, it doesn't matter how small or big your business or income is, you still have to pay your taxes. The little taxes from each and every one of us, when put together, could give your community clean water or that deprived school with tables and chairs. Please pay your taxes. It is your responsibility. It is your civic duty. It is the law. Impressive factory. If only I had listened to you, I wouldn't have been in this mess. That devastating fire virtually wiped out the whole factory and my warehouse. Remember my misfortunes last year? Serene insurance assets all risk fire policy that I took were there to pay for my damaged stocks in the warehouse. And my machines that were affected by the floods have been replaced. My accident vehicle is back on the road. Thanks to Serene Insurance Motor Policy. Currently, my goods are on the IC covered with the American Cargo Insurance Policy. I was just telling Ajima about Serene Insurance. Oh, Ajima, tell him more. As a road contractor, I make sure I do my contractors all risk insurance for the projects and then workers compensation for all the workers on site with serene insurance they will make sure they'll cover your known tomorrow today serene insurance a new face of insurance call us now
MPS Terminal 3 is Africa's new state-of-the-art container terminal at Tema Port. For manufacturers, agro-processors and traders, the new port means business can be done faster. This infrastructure boost will improve Ghana's port handling capacity, connect more trading routes and oil the engine of growth for the economy, creating greater opportunities across all sectors as Africa's markets merge and become the largest trading bloc globally. MPS. We connect. You thrive. Welcome back from the break. Now, some local happenings in the port and shipping industry of Ghana next. The Transport Forum Ghana has been launched to serve as a trade advocacy platform to specifically address contemporary issues in the transport sector. The newly created trade advocacy organization intends to influence positive change in the industry by engaging in research, critiquing policies, and extensive consultation with relevant stakeholders and authorities. According to the executives of the association, the ultimate goal of the network is to create an effective, affordable and safe transport system in Ghana. On the road to progress, we need to flash a red light to stop business as usual. And we all know business as usual. Hence, the transport forum. Otherwise, we continue to pay the high price for inefficiency, lack of ethics, and economic and human cost for road accidents for pollution, greenhouse emission. The interesting portion is, I do export. And then my, <laughs> my exports get to the destination in Germany, in Canada, in the USA, in China. And these same shipping lines charging us these fees here do not charge the people over there. What have you done wrong as a people? The Transport Forum will not be quiet on this. We will not be compromised on this. TTF is not just a forum, it's also a platform. It's a platform to engage those who are affected and those who are not. It's a platform to engage policy makers, Shippers Authority, Ghana Maritime, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Trade, on behalf of those we work for. Other trade advocacy groups present at the launch are sure to present themselves as a unified front towards creating a progressive industry that promotes the fair movement of goods and services. In this country, the mortgage and rent is killing us. Shipping lines are carriers representing their principles. There are certain charges that they are taking from importers unduly, first release, second release, and that is your domain. These are some of the things we need to look at to reduce the cost of doing businesses for our importers in this country. And so your organization wouldn't have been here at a different time. This is the right time. Now, yet the yes, you are holding any support, any prayers at time or cheap because you are the Yamanaba, Mona, the Dona, Muyima, and into no say, most will be see Sana Mutri, Nahe, and Kamwa, and ye, and into your buyer, yet the support every time which you say, and a pole, a you, Moton suffering, a baby upon your Yamanaba. The Ghana Navy and partner, the Ghana Boundary Commission, have taken delivery of two state-of-the-art surveillance drones which are intended to assist the two institutions deliver on their mandate of monitoring and securing Ghana's maritime territory. The two Delta Quad Pro are manned aerial vehicles were donated by the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation. The Deputy Chief Executive Officer in Charge of Finance and Administration at GMPC, Benjamin Kwekwa Kolache said, the donated equipment is a demonstration of the collaboration his outfit has established with stakeholders and the protection of the nation's ocean resources. Ghana National Petroleum Corporation finds all our producing oil assets within the offshore marine environment. This calls for more collaboration with the Ghana Navy and other stakeholders. I am happy to say that so far our partnership has been good and we look forward to deepening the relationship going forward. National Coordinator of the Ghana Boundary Commission, Major General Emmanuel Kotia said the drones will help his outfit deliver on its mandate. We shall jointly organize monitor boundary inspection with the Ghana Navy at least as much as we can on, on the on sea with the Ghana Navy ship along 
the eastern and the western maritime domains with the maritime drones. And we are hoping that we should be able to have one before the end of the year. We would also ensure between the Ghana Gabandu Commission and Navy ensure that the territorial sovereignty of Ghana is always secured. Likewise, the flag officer commanding of the Eastern Naval Base, Commodore Imano Ayensu Kwafo, indicated that the drones will contribute to the fight against crimes such as piracy and illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing. The transnational nature of some of the crimes mentioned makes the surveillance of Ghana's maritime borders an imperative. It is in this context that the Commission's continuous collaboration with the Ghana Navy to improve security along Ghana's maritime borders is most appreciated. The incorporation of drones in these joint operations is both commendable and timely. We have the Harbour Master of GPHA Chakwade Port, Captain Richmond Payson. Captain, this evening we've seen the successful birthing of MV Fair Partner, which has brought two shiploaders and one echo hopper here at the new dry bulk terminal. Could you please tell us the relevance of these equipment in the operations of Takwa Ports? Yeah, closely. Management of GPAG headquarters and management of Takwa Port, we are delighted to, to receive this vessel, MV Fair Partner, arriving with the game changer. The dry bulk terminal has been completed. The GPHA in partnership with Amandi, Ghana. We've done the superstructure work with conveyor system to save the manganese, bauxite, and clinker vessels. So these ship loaders, one for manganese, one for bauxite, and one equal over for the clinker related cargo arrived with MV partner. MV Fair Partner is a heavy lift carrier that loaded the cargo from Dubai to the Suez Canal, to Mediterranean, and we are pleased to have the vessel safely alongside this evening, and we look forward to the next four days, the careful discharging of the ship loaders, that's the manganese ship loader number one, onto the rail system, then we do the boxer one onto the rail system, and then they go back. So the next four days, we very careful operation to discharge this cargo from the and from the heavy lift carrier. Then only we will use another four weeks for the installation and trying and testing to commission the project to start delivering for the shipping, for the shipping line. So this is going to change the way we handle clinker, the way we handle manganese, and the way we handle bauxite in the quadri port to be a fully automated system, world class. World class, I mean world class, so that we can deliver on a type of vessels we expect. We are expecting Cape size vessels, vessels over 250 to 300 meters LOA length of a roll with a beam over 50 meters to load bauxite, to load manganese, and to discharge clinker for the cement related companies. We are humble to have this cargo to the end. Kudos to GPAT management, Takwa Port, our director, the DG general, and my humble self, the humble master. I'm humble to have this vessel with you today, and we're going to deliver on our mandate as managers of the Port Authority. Thank you. Let us take our lessons to the international scene and pick a few shipping and maritime related news. The cruise division of MSC Group and French shipbuilding company Chantier de l'Atlantique have announced the delivery of the world's largest LNG-powered cruise ship and one of the first to incorporate fuel cell technology. The delivery ceremony of MSC World Europa took place in Saint-Nazaire on October 24. The ship measures 580.3 meters in length and is able to accommodate 6,762 passengers with a crew of 2,138. The vessel incorporates the latest environmentally friendly characteristics, including a dual fuel power plant for LNG. Compared to standard marine fuels, LNG nearly eliminates air pollutant emissions like sulfur oxides and fine particles, greatly reduces nitrogen oxides, and achieves a carbon dioxide reduction of up to 25% according to the companies. LNG 
will also enable the development of low carbon fuels and solutions such as green hydrogen, synthetic LNG and fuel cells. The Women's International Shipping and Trading Association, Westa International, has released results of an in-depth survey in the maritime industry describing the figures on gender-based discrimination against women, on-board harassment and bullying as shocking. The online survey was conducted jointly by Westa International, Anglo-Eastern, International Seafarers Welfare and Assistance Network and International Chamber of Shipping. The aim was to examine how female seafarers perceive discrimination and how it manifested on board based on their personal experiences. The survey was completed by 1,128 women from 78 countries. The Philippines, represented by 399, had the largest proportion, followed by the United States, represented by 98, the United Kingdom, represented by 57, South Africa, America, represented by 51, Brazil, represented by 47, India, represented by 41, Peru, represented by 36, Colombia, represented by 35, and Indonesia, represented by 35. The majority of respondents, that is 60%, reported encountering gender-based discrimination on board, while 40% of respondents said there was no such discrimination. Wister said a total of 34% of the respondents acknowledged feeling alienated or neglected due to the agenda, while 29% of the respondents had encountered harassment and bullying on board. A resounding 66% of the women seafarers concurred that their male employees had tend to harassing and intimidating female co-workers. It's now time for our Word of the Day segment and today's word is decarbonization. Decarbonization is the process of stopping or reducing carbon gases, especially carbon dioxide, being released into the atmosphere. For example, the burning of fossil fuels. In 2018, the International Maritime Organization set a goal to cut the marine shipping industry's greenhouse gas emissions by at least half by 2050. Through decarbonization, marine shipping companies are tagged with lowering carbon dioxide emissions as much as possible. It's now time for the schedule of vessels that have berth in the ports of Tema and Takrade and at the anchorages of both ports, as well as those expected in the coming weeks, plus the Bank of Ghana action rate, which you may need to know to clear your cargo with. This is where we draw the curtain on today's edition of Ion Port. We hope you've been educated. Remember, you can watch all Ion Port content on our YouTube channel, Ion Port. Subscribe, like, and give us feedback. Thank you for watching. <laughs>